Good evening, everybody. It's Robert Bagley with the RB3 Show. We have an epic show ready for you tonight. A little bit about me. I am a seller on Amazon FBA, and I have this show and also have a Facebook group called the RB3 Game Changers, and I'm really, really honored uh, to have everybody joining us tonight. Not only do we have people joining us live on YouTube, we also have people listening in on iTunes podcast, so I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. People in the chat, please feel free to ask us questions. We're going to address your questions as we go tonight. We have... My apologies there. I had a little reverberation, so I'm back. Can you hear me okay? Let's do a quick sound check. I can hear you. I can hear you. Let's see. Can the audience, can you hear us okay? Yes, sir. All right. So we have a rock star panel tonight. Tonight we have several guests that have been my social media mentors for over a year and a half now. Some of them didn't even know who I was, and I had been learning from them all along, and I'm so honored and privileged to have them on the show tonight. And we have our very special guest tonight, which is the Entrepreneur Girl, a.k.a. Tracy Smith, or it's Tracy Smith, a.k.a. Entrepreneur Girl, uh, either way. And so we're really, really, really honored to have her in the house. Now, let me just go through uh, and, and introduce our panel. First, I want to uh, introduce our executive panel members. I can't do it without them. They put in countless hours for the show, folks, in uh, just putting it together, coordinating it, uh, promoting it. And so uh, I have three special individuals that help me. Uh, tirelessly and volunteer, so that means they're not getting paid. So uh, I want to, from <laughs> left to right in no order, it's Bia, B Bab. Hi, Bia. Hi, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! We got so good Jenny. to be back. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's coming off a of vacation. We're, we missed you, and we're glad you're back. I we missed got, you guys, too. <laughs> awesome. And we've got James Benner, the Cali Picker. Evening, everybody. I hope this is going to be a great show. And we have Caesar Gomez from Caesar's Palace. Whoa, whoa. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Going, uh, keeping going with our panel tonight, uh, we have Sanja from CS, uh, CSA Pickers. Am I saying that right, Sanja? That's right. That's right. And Sanja is a ga uh, RB3 game changer on the Facebook group. So please check out our Facebook group. It's RB3 Game Changers. Sanja, welcome to the show tonight. Thank you. It's good to be here. Sanja. And we, have D, and we have D. Copeland Patience back in the house. She was on our show last week, and she was on James's show, which will, uh, I don't know where James just disappeared, but he'll be back. Welcome, D. Howdy from Austin. All right. Got to put a plug in for Austin. Uh, Peter Molius, he's one of my uh, online mentors. I've learned so much from Peter. Welcome to the show, Peter. What up? It's uh, great to be here. You know, it, it took me three tries, but I finally made it. This is a hot <laughs> ticket, man. It's yes, a, you did. Uh, it's the, we'll, the tough we'll one to get on. <laughs> we're glad you're here, and thank you for being patient with us. I'm going to give all the panel members a chance as we go through the interview tonight to ask a question of Tracy, and of course they're going to uh, tell you a little bit about how you can find them uh, and, and some of the projects that they're working on. We, uh, we will also have the special announcement at the end of the show tonight, Sam Cohen. Welcome, Sam. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Glad to be here. And I understand you have a winner you're going to announce at the end of the show. Is that correct for your huge giveaway from last week? Yes, sir. We're excited to give away the prize, and we're excited to get started with our program. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for being on. And uh, we're honored tonight because we have Rob Anderson from Dollar Moves. This is his debut, I would say, comeback to YouTube since uh, the channel was revoked, and he's going to tell us a little bit about that. So this is his comeback, and we're privileged that you came back on the RB3 show. So welcome back to hey YouTube, everybody. Rob Anderson. Good to be back on YouTube, man. This is great. I broke it, though. I don't have my name here, but I'm Rob Anderson Dollar Moves. It should say, you know, it's all good. Glad to be here. Thank you very much for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Everybody we're knows you, Robert. Everybody knows. <laughs> and again, uh, if you listen to my story, Rob Anderson is one of the is the very first YouTube channel I watched. Me too. Um, 
when I sent in $98 worth of books back in November of 2013. Fast forward that to 10 months, I watched all his videos, got plugged into people like Peter Molius on Amazing Flips and Tips and all the other people that are on the show. Steve Rankin's going to be on the show tonight. I watched his videos as well. Um, and, you know, in December of 2014, I had a gross sales of $80,000, and now we're, we're cranking at about forty-five dollars to $50,000 a month on FBA. So these guys have inspired me and encouraged me, so I am so excited they're on the show tonight. Again, Steve Rakin's going to be joining us midway, and Danny Ackerman is going to be joining us midway through the show. Oh. Of course, oh, yeah. we have amazing life-changing giveaways in addition to, of course, Sam Cohen's big giveaway tonight. Well, let's get started into the show. I want to introduce our very, very special guest tonight. I have gotten to uh, know her and befriend her. This is Tracy Smith, Entrepreneur Girl. She is a stay-at-home mom who has three different platforms of entrepreneurism going on in her life. She's a stock trader. She does eBay. She does FBA. Um, she has eight children, and she homeschools five of them. Uh, and in addition to that, she uh, runs these multiple businesses and brings in four to five thousand dollars of income, uh, basically part time, while she's doing all these other things. Uh, Tracy has overcome huge adversity in her life, and uh, we're going to ask her some of those things that, that 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 she did to overcome some of those obstacles. In fact, she had a near death experience and she had cancer while she was pregnant um, and she's pulled through all of that guys and gals out there so uh, this is a real encouraging night uh, and so pay attention stay with us because again at the end of the show we're going to have some awesome giveaways so Tracy welcome to the RB3 show well thank you thanks for having me it's awesome to be here with all of these terrific people and to be on the RB3 show so thanks uh, folks, Tracy has a huge following. She has over 6,000 people following her YouTube channel, which is called Entrepreneur Girl. She also has a Facebook group called Amazon 360, and I believe if the last count it was like almost 3,000 people on that group. Is, is that correct, Tracy? Okay, just under 3,000. Just under 3,000. By the way, um, Rob Anderson, when he had his uh, YouTube channel pulled, again, we'll give you some time tonight. He had six, what um, almost eight thousand people on that channel. Is that correct, Rob? Yeah, right under seventy nine hundred. I was like, I'm getting about three hundred viewers, uh, subscribers a month added. About so. Okay, great. So um, with between Tracy and Rob, we've got some huge uh, YouTube rock stars tonight. But Tracy, I want to I want to fire the first pitch and throw out the first question here. Tell us about the two or three major <laughs> adversities in your life, uh, and how you overcame them. Each of those. Uh, so that we can in, in, encourage people to, to keep moving on, even in the face of whether it's physical or financial or emotional issues that they're having. Tell us some of those ad, um, adversities you experienced and how you overcame them. Okay, well, in um, 2007 and 2009, we had the recession, and that's probably the first time um, I had experienced anything derogatory. At first, you know, I was um, staying at home, I was building my family, I had gone to school to be for elementary education and got my degree, and um, then the recession happened. And then in, at the end of 2010, um, I had gone back to school in 2010 for a business degree because I had been homeschooling my kids and had decided that if I, if I did want to go back to work, I didn't want to go back you know, into the public school system. I wanted to, you know, be able to stay home with my kids, and we were trying to travel um, all 50 states at the time, and I went back for a business degree, and right at my last semester with a business degree in December of 2010, I had a massive pulmonary embolism, and it nearly killed me. I was um, pregnant at the time, and I was hospitalized into the ICU, and then that took about a year and a half to recover from that. Of course, I was pregnant, so I had to give birth and, and then recover, and it was very kind of touch and go for, um, you know, that year and a half. It was really rough, and then right after things started to come back a little bit, I found out a few months later that I had thyroid cancer. So I kind of felt like I had the recession, and then just kind of stood up from that, and then I had the embolism, and just kind of you know got my feet from that, and then I found out I had um, thyroid cancer. So those three events 
Bam 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 right in a row has completely changed my life and made me reprioritize and figure a lot of stuff out and that is what started all of this. How did you overcome that? I mean, how did you get yourself through that? What were the th what were the things that may helped you pull through all of those things that happened to you? Well, at the time it was really awful. <laughs> it was a really it was a really dark time for me. Um, it was definitely rock bottom and I had to I guess mentally figure it out. I had to think about you know who I was and what I wanted in my life and at the very very lowest I thought you know I'm not going to go out like this. I'm not going to be this sweatpant wearing, non hair brushed, um, just kind of feeling like I'm in a rut and feeling sorry for myself and it's just it's just not going to go down like that and I kind of made that decision you know, because you, you don't have a choice how it's going to turn out. You know, I, I didn't, I don't control if uh, the cancer is going to kill me or the embolism is going to kill me or if my, I'm going to get in a car wreck tomorrow. But the things I can control is how I look at it mentally. And it took me, you know, there was a process that I went through and I just determined that it wasn't going to, it wasn't going to happen like this. If I was going out, it was going to be really going for it. And that was the determination that I made, and that mindset is probably what pushed me through everything. So just raw determination. You also have a great, uh, and I love that. You have a saying that you shared on a radio show recently. I want to think is it the the home business doctor show that you were just on? And I, I listened to that. You have a saying. It's and now you incorporate you know life and business kind of together. Get your family involved. You say build business love life and balance both um, and so before we hand uh, the, the the next panelist a, a question to ask you how do you how do you do that how do you build business love life and balance both maybe you can give us a, a quick Tracy Smith entrepreneur girl prescription well to tie it in when um, I went through all of the dark health issues I really defined what it was that I wanted in my life and then I took what it was that I wanted and I was determined to you know, build a job around that. I wanted freedom. I didn't want nine to five. I didn't want alarm clocks. I didn't want one week vacations a year. I wanted freedom to be home with my, with my family, you know, to build relationships, to travel with them, to make memories, to, to do, you know, the, I told you before, like kayaking and river rafting. And I wanted to do all of those things. And I needed a job that would allow me to do those. So I kind of worked backwards from all of that. I decided the life I wanted and then I built a business around it. And that is the tagline. Build business, love your life, and then balance both. Because we're all busy. You know, we're parents, are we're taking care of our parents, you know, we have financial issues and house issues and, and we're all in that same boat together. And it's just a way to to look at all aspects, you know, not just Amazon or not just, you know, one aspect of your business, but the whole picture. And that's where that tagline came from. That's what my website's going to be built on and and I'm just I'm passionate about it. That's awesome. And, and so I want to get we'll get more into your business and how you conduct that and some of the successes you've had. We've got a few panel member, uh, members that are going to be on half the show so that we can bring in uh, Danny and Steve. So I do want to give them a chance um, to ask you a question. So Sanja, why don't you go ahead and, uh, and ask uh, 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 Tracy some questions. Before we do that, okay, ask her one question if you can because we, we do have a big panel and tight on time. Caesar. I uh, want to give a sh few shout outs to the uh, chat that's that's rolling and scrolling. I think we got quite a few people on, so do we want to do just a few shout outs and we'll we'll definitely shout out all the Facebook groups later on too that helped uh, promote us. But just right. uh, okay. So as of right now we're at 180 watchers, so let's do a quick rapid fire. We got Sean Kutotes, Texas Gal Treasures. Yay! Uh Diana Morgan, hi Diana, Lena Weserman, Bruce Forks. Uh, Ram Ramona Janelle, Chris Piles, what's up, Chris? Holland Hobbies, what's up, man? Uh, let me see, Paul Wright, uh, let's see, scroll down, scroll down. Andrew, what's going on, Andrew? Uh, Diana Morgan, uh, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Awesome. 
we'll Turtle do. Trader, Caesar Papa. That's an awesome name. Uh, yeah, we, got, huh? we got my boy uh, Jose Lux. What's going on, Jose? We got just quick, 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 quick. We got Maggie Love MTC. That's awesome. Holly Wagner, Mary Ann Tater. Tom Jones, uh, do the list goes on. Swap Thank you, you guys. Chat. Thank you, Chad, for supporting our show tonight. Thanks for being on. Thanks, Caesar, for doing the shout outs. Sanja, let's uh, let's have you uh, introduce yourself a little bit. Tell people who you are, and uh, let's uh, have you ask Tracy the uh, first question from the panel. Okay, I am Sanja. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. My name is Sanja. I represent the S in CSA Pickers. Uh, the other two is my husband and my son. And I am a former, I won't say a former, but I was a potter, um, which I made pottery, by the way. And I also made a string couponer. And I got involved with eBay um, back in August last year and been doing fairly well. I uh, own a sign company as well. We make t-shirts and signs and stuff. And so we started doing a lot of that stuff on eBay. And uh, I just recently um, started um, getting a, a order together for Amazon. So I'm really excited about that. Um, as a former homeschool mom of 17 years, my youngest just graduated last year. My question is to you, Tracy. Um, it, what do you find is the biggest challenge as far as homeschooling and trying to balance your business and your um, your family life as well as your um, homeschooling? And um, also, are you considering um, homeschooling high schoolers, or are you going to put them in school? Okay, my biggest obstacle is time. <laughs> Obviously, um, time is something that I I have to really be careful of. I protect it pretty closely, and I have a lot of um, things in place to make our homeschooling day go as smoothly as possible. So most people that know me and know my channel, um, uh, Entrepreneur Girl, we've, we've talked about homeschooling a little bit, but we're going to be incorporating some videos because there really are a lot of homeschoolers out there that eBay and Amazon. But the main thing that I preach is schedules. I took everything that I wanted to accomplish in my life and allotted a time in my daily schedule in order to get it done. Because if it's not on the daily schedule, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to get it done. And um, I really just stick to that schedule religiously. And then in that schedule, every, every line item has a system to it. So I have a laundry system. You know, when I'm cleaning the house in the morning, the kids bring down the laundry. All I have to do is wash and dry it, and I have bins. Um, you've probably seen it in my organizational videos. I have bins with each child's name on it, and I just put the clothes in there, and then they take it up. So there's, there's a system in place for grocery shopping, for my homeschooling, for even my office time. I'm just extremely organized. And I stick to that religiously. And the second question with, um, am I going to continue to homeschool? Absolutely. I homeschool until they're 16, and then they start taking college classes. And then um, that way they can have their associate's degree when they're 18. And that works really well. Great question. Thank you, Sanja. Our yes, next panelist, what's that? I just wanted to say hi to Sandra because she's been such a great um, person on my Amazon 360 group and my YouTube channel. And I know your husband just celebrated his 11-year cancer anniversary, right? Yes, he did. Today. So oh, congratulations. I'm excited about that. Congrats. Tell him congratulations. That's really, really cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. Our next Thanks. panelist, Dee Copeland Patience. Want to introduce yourself, Dee? All right. Um, I have a FBA Outlaws, and that's an upcoming podcast and show uh, to help market, brand, and promote your um, private label business. I'm an Amazon private label. And I have a question for Tracy. Um, I know that we're going to get into kind of your story about your business, but for the people who aren't don't know you, you're in a lot of different things. You do investing. You have different lines of business um, uh, and streams of income. But one of the things that comes up consistently about focus is people don't know which business model or where to focus their time and energy first. 
you know, I think after a while you expand, but how do you decide, besides having a family, I'm going to go here first, and this is where I'm going to put my time. And then the second thing is people right now that's happening in the private label and the R community is everyone selling courses. And they say, this is the shortcut. This is going to get you there faster. How do you decide when to invest in a certain business model um, how much to invest? How do you choose a particular course or a quote shortcut um, from your from your standpoint? Like, what thought press process do you go through? Okay, well, so I started was basically from zero. I didn't take a course. Um, I had my degree in business, and then I started stock trading. And my thought behind starting there was just because when I thought about the lifestyle that I wanted, and remember everything goes down to that lifestyle, there were very few jobs really that kind of fit into the model of what I wanted for my life. So stock trading I thought would be a good option for that because it was something that I could do from my backpack, from my laptop, anywhere. And I love stock trading and that's why I continue to do it. What I realized though through the process was I couldn't pull enough monthly income in enough for me to live the life that I wanted to live without a huge amount of risk. And so I knew I needed to supplement and I needed to add another level. So once I was pretty proficient at stock trading, I added eBay. That was kind of by mistake, or not by mistake, but by accident, because I wanted to sell my homeschooling curriculum. So I thought I was going to make a few hundred. I ended up making a few thousand. Uh, totally hooked after that. I tried to see if I could duplicate it or if it was just a fluke. Um, the following summer, I duplicated it for several thousand again. And then I started saying, hey, how can I you know, add and grow this so that I can make more income, you know, not just during the summer. And then I eBayed for five years, and I thought, okay, you know, I'm kind of plateauing with the degree, the number, you know, the monthly income that I was netting. So I wanted to add something else, and that's when I added Amazon. So as far as how do you know when to do something, I think that would be when you are accomplished at what you're currently doing. I think if you add too much, too fast, you'll get overwhelmed and maybe not be as good at it. As far as you know, choosing which thing to go first in, um, I would probably research it and take the advice of others that have gone, you know, before me. Like with me, I love Amazon. If I knew how awesome Amazon was, I would have started with Amazon. But I didn't know that, so I had to learn, you know, the natural process. And then, as far as growing and courses and education, I love to self learn so I'm constantly taking classes and reading books and learning and that's how I prefer to do it I'm definitely not opposed to anyone taking courses I actually want to offer them on my website you know this next month so I think I think that's good I would be cautious about shortcuts or you know any type of get rich quick I've had to grow this very slowly and naturally, and I don't think I would just be cautious of that type of sentiment. It's more of a you're constantly pushing yourself and constantly growing and constantly adding. And I have you know four or five goals I'm really wanting to hit this year, and then next year I'm probably going to have four or five totally new goals that I'm going to be adding to Entrepreneur Girl. Did that answer that okay, D? <laughs> Yeah, and I think what you're saying is um, a lot of people, you kind of go down the path, focus on that, really put all your effort, do as much as you can to kind of learn and soak things up, and then decide at the right time which course will really give you where you need to go next. Right, because there are a lot, I mean, look at this panel. There are a lot of people out there that truly, genuinely care and are passionate about helping others, and so... You know, I think you, you start to learn um, the courses that people talk about and give good feedback for, and those are those would be great places to start. As, you know, YouTube is a free forum, so you can learn a lot just researching it yourself and then taking the next, the next step. All right, great. Awesome. Thank you, Dee, for your question. That was a great question, and thank you, Tracy. 
Next, um, Bia B. Bab, did you have a question uh, uh, for Tracy? And, and also introduce yourself and um, what projects you're working on. Hi, guys. It's Bia. How are you all doing tonight? I'm so, so happy to finally meet you, Tracy. You've been such a huge, huge inspiration to me. I've heard I'm, great things about you. I wasn't sure you were going to be back from vacation, so I'm really glad you're here. We hurried. I was like, I can't miss this one. <laughs> I really, I have one question because I've been following your um, YouTube for quite a while, and um, I've got to say that your YouTube, um, and for those of you who are familiar with her YouTube channel, is one of the very few ones that actually give very, very um, detailed insight into how to scan or you know what to look for. I remember I watched one of your videos that talked about. Um, um, flashlights, and um, it was like, I was like, oh my, flashlights, duh, <laughs> like, <laughs> never even thought of it, so it really opened up my eyes to, you know, just looking in different places that I usually would not look, so uh, my question is in regards to your YouTube channel, how do you start one, and what do you do to focus, um, or, you know, what kind of things do you do, what steps do you take to create such an amazing and successful channel? Good question. Great. That's an awkward question. Well, <laughs> when I started, the funny thing is, is when I started, uh, Bia, I didn't think anyone would watch my channel. Um, I started, <laughs> <laughs> I started because I had gone through, you know, all that stuff I had gone through. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I knew there were people out there that wanted to be home with their kids that might be having health issues, you know, that, that made them be at home. There was a recession, you know, people were losing their jobs left and right. And the YouTube channel just started out of, I guess, a desire to help just one other person. You know, maybe there's another mom like me um, out there or someone that has had health struggles like I have. I thought maybe if I could just help one other person. And my daughter, she's 12, had a YouTube channel, well, still does. If you want to see her, she's guinea pig Smith. How cute is that? And she had a YouTube channel. And so my 12-year-old taught me how to start it, and it's super easy. You just basically set up um, your account, and then there you are, and you, you make these videos, and you think every single one of them are awful, and everyone's going to leave awful comments, and no one's going to watch it. <laughs> That's what you think. But you know, you, you, you put yourself out there, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I just, um, I'm so glad to have so many followers, and I get a lot of really nice emails, and I love it. I will always YouTube and always try to help out in any way that I can. And what was your second question? I don't even remember now. Oh, just if you have a couple. Of, first of all, can you, what is your daughter's YouTube channel name again? <laughs> <laughs> it's Guinea Pig Smith. That is and all so cute. the videos that she posts about me, no comment. I have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I have got to go check that one out. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Um, do you maybe have like your like maybe one or two tips that you would recommend to people that are trying a YouTube channel or you know starting out a YouTube channel? What would you what would you recommend to them how to make it successful? I think the number one thing is to just be 100% authentic. I think if you really care about what you're speaking about, I hope anyway that that will come through, that people really see, see that. And I think if you're authentic with your channel, people naturally come. You know, I think they're, they're drawn <laughs> to you, they trust you, they want to hear what you have to say. And the second tip, I guess, would be... Um, content. You know, I try to have content so that every time someone watches one of my videos, they walk away with something that they didn't know before or maybe one more detail about that something. So I try to have good content and I try to just be really real and transparent on my channel. Thank you so awesome. much. Great questions, Bia. Thank you. All right, Thank James. You, Thanks, Tracy. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you for coming. I, I appreciate uh, you coming on the show tonight. And, uh, you know, we're uh, part of the Amazon 360 group. And, and 
one thing I wanted to know that I, I really didn't uh, uh, elaborate on before on, on our interview we had before was about your education. Now, you said you're, you have your education in homeschooling or, or edu uh, elementary education. Uh, right. Do you plan on going back and, and continuing your education? I do. I, um, my first degree was in elementary education, and then I went back and got a second degree in business. And I'm eight months short of my MBA degree, and I would really like to finish that. So when things settle down, um, my website, everything I'm doing here is really my top priority. I would, though, as a personal, a personal accomplishment, would like to finish my MBA. So that is definitely in the horizon soon. <laughs> now, I, I got to say, I have to tip my head off to you for, for your organizational skills and all the things that you jump. Uh, yeah, I, I just couldn't imagine it. Well, this comes from James, who is a personal friend who knows I have slight OCD tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you do have a chance, make sure you do check out her YouTube channel and one where she talks about her organizing on the laundry because they do have little name tags on each one of them. Organizing laundry, that's awesome. I think everybody could learn something from that. Uh, James, you want to uh, just mention your show where you interviewed her? Give a, give uh, yes, a yes. Uh, my, I have a show. I have a show on YouTube. It's called Do You Know Who I Am? And I interviewed Tracy months ago. Long that was time one of my first interviews, yeah. And today, awesome. earlier today, I had an interview with uh, Deep. She was an excellent, excellent interview. <laughs> It was fun. It was a lot of fun. That's great. That's great. Make sure you check that out. I don't know where Caesar is. He's probably doing something administrative in the background. So we're going to go over to Mr. Peter Mullius. Uh Peter, thanks for being on the show. Uh, tell people a little bit about you and some of the projects you're working on. You've been a great inspiration to me. Uh, Peter's a brilliant guy. You're going to hear it when he starts talking. So fire away. Tell us about you. Oh, thanks, man. That's really nice of you to say. Um, I'm not as... I'm not half as brilliant as people uh, as people say. I, I'm just a hard worker, and I am willing to try pretty much anything. Um, just I'll make tons of mistakes just to figure out the way to to uh, do things right. So um, thank you very much for having me on the show. It's an honor to be here, uh, Tracy. What I want to ask you is, I know that you have the Amazon 360 group. Um, what do you do on Amazon? Are you um, a retail arbitrage person, a wholesale person, a private label person? What are you doing right now? And what do you see your, your uh, Amazon business doing in the next two to three years? Great question. Thank you, Peter. We're going to come back to you because I want you to tell people some of the projects you're working on. You forgot to say that, so we'll come back to you. Great question. Go ahead, Tracy. That's an awesome question. Well, with Amazon... Uh, first of all, I love Amazon. Um, Amazon FBA has been, has changed uh, my business direction. Uh, eBay for a long time, and now um, dwindling my eBay down a little bit because I really want to ramp up my Amazon. I started with garage sales and thrift stores, um, a lot of books, just to kind of try it out and get my feet wet. I don't know why I was so scared of Amazon. It really wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And now, since then, um, I went from thrift stores, I started retail arbitraging at stores like Walmart and Target. I take people to different stores on my YouTube channel. And then I started getting into auctions, which I love, and um, storage auctions, online arbitrage, um, wholesale, you know, government surplus, all of those. So I, I, just like everything else, you know, I just kind of started at the bottom and just slowly built it up. My big goal this year is private label, and I have been um, learning about that all of this year. So that that's getting ready to happen right now. I've been getting ungated in all of the categories, and that has really kicked it up a notch. So where do I see it in two to five years? I see a lot of private labeling on the horizon. I see um, I'm doing Amazon courses, so there's going to be a lot of teaching others about Amazon, but as far as my own selling, 
I, I definitely, I'm definitely excited about private labeling. So D, you're my girl. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. There's a connection being made. Um, thank you. Great, great, great answer. Hey, Peter, uh, real quick, tell us a little bit about what you got going on. By the way, everybody, Peter, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've hit over a million dollars on FBA the last three years. I'm sure you're poised to do at least that this year. Is that correct? Yeah, you know, I don't want to talk too much about myself uh, tonight because uh, I have a, a weekly uh, video series that I do with my partner, Ryan Watesco, where we get, you know, way overindulgent about ourselves. It's uh, <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, I do um, sell a pretty good amount on Amazon I have for the past three years. It's a real blessing. Amazon FBA changed my life completely for 10 years. Uh, I didn't know where I was going or what I was going to do. So uh, once I hit the big time with Amazon FBA, I knew that I had to just basically help as many people as possible because it, it created such a change in my life, and I knew that there were plenty of people out there that could benefit from that as well. So um, yeah. tomorrow night, Ryan and I will be talking about uh, cleaning up your inventory for spring because in the retail arbitrage game, you know, it's kind of a gamble. Sometimes you end up with things that, eh, mistakes can be made. It's nobody's fault, but you end up with things and, and you gotta, you gotta clean it up every now and then. You know, after three months, you might want to take a look at some of that stuff and say, hey, you know what? Maybe taking the loss is not so bad because I can take that money back and reinvest it in a winner. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow night. And where can they find you if they want to see you tomorrow night? Uh, you know, I I have a, uh, a thing on my screen here that has the address of our fan page. Um, you don't have to be a, an actual fan to watch any of our stuff. Um, just go to our fan page, and all of our videos will be posted there. And, and uh, it'll be a, a webinar jam, which is very similar to this, except it looks very uh, marketer ask, which is kind of okay. funny because we don't consider ourselves uh, marketers at all. Can you read that uh, for our iTunes listeners? Can you read that website, oh, please? Yes, absolutely. Um, we are not on iTunes yet. We don't have a podcast, but it is something that we want to do one day. But for you guys that are listening on your iPods, um, it's www.facebook.com forward slash amazing flips. Nice, nice. All right. Great question. Thanks for being on the show tonight, Peter. We actually have Peter as a main guest host coming up in June. We're going to pick his brain some more. Uh, so thanks again for being on the show. Thanks, RB3. All right. Okay. We are up to Mr. Rob Anderson. Uh, Rob, you're uh, muted, so I'm going to unmute you if I can. Oh, no, you just unmuted yourself. Rob Anderson. Um, <laughs> Welcome back to YouTube, my friend. Tell us what projects you're working on, how people can find you, and then go ahead and fire a nice question at uh, Tracy Smith, Entrepreneur Girl. Okay, my name is Rob Anderson, and uh, I have dollarmoves.com, and the reason that I started, it actually started on YouTube. I uh, wanted to, I found the FBA opportunity and saw that you can get into business with such a small amount of money. Um, you know, I have this other business that's in the RV industry, which has gotten very, very, very tiny and pretty much not in existence. But at the time, 7,200 square foot shop, employees, all this overhead and everything, and found FBA and I could travel. It was amazing. So, um, you know, what I've kind of changed from is to, um, finding freedom through entrepreneurship and especially online um, selling. So uh, you, you can go to dollarmoves.com, see all the videos and stuff that I have. Um, currently, you know, uh, I am working on getting my YouTube channel back. Uh, some of the, my great partners I didn't even ask, like yourself, uh, Nathan Holmquist, um, Deborah Conrad, and then today Jay Bain on the Scanner Monkeys are all out there rooting for me, trying to help me out. I'm sending people over to dollarmoves.com forward slash YouTube channel, and they're all, um, you know, just putting out uh, comments if they were found any of my videos helpful or valuable. So we're up to like 170 comments now. So if any of you guys found my videos valuable and you want me back, that's the way to do it. Dollarmoves.com forward slash YouTube channel. Let, let and, me just uh, say, let me just, let me just re real quick. This this will be a good interruption. Sure. He he did nothing wrong. Okay. 
Right. Some silly little robots went in and, and found something that they thought they found, and now you can't talk to a live human being. And so no. he can't even plead his case. Uh, he is currently trying to appeal the decision. Um, the whole thing was unfounded, and Rob's channel is pristine pure. Uh, it is one of the best channels. I know Sam Cohen, you, you were one, you, what, he was one of the first people you watched. He's one of the, fir the first person I watched. There's absolutely mm -hmm. nothing wrong, uh, and that's a that's an issue. So um, yeah. stand up for justice, folks. Go to dollarmoves.com, watch his video, leave a comment. Let's get him back on, okay? Now, Thank fire you, Robert. I really, really Bye. appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Tracy, by the way, pleasure to meet you. Uh, I, I have seen some of your videos, and they are very good. I, I also agree with the uh, putting out great content, high quality, and your videos are definitely there. Um, one of the things that I love about being an entrepreneur is that um, having my kids around, and I know you being a homeschooler yourself, uh, you know, how much do you bring them into the business to let them know kind of uh, what's going on and, and, and let them see that, you know, hey, mom is doing this on her own. She's standing on her own two feet, and this is, the, you know, what do you show them? Do you take them out shopping? What are the kinds of things that you do to kind of show them the uh, freedom of entrepreneurship to a child? Well, that's a great question, Robin. I have to say, I watched your videos when I first started, so I feel like I'm talking to a superstar. Like, wow. Oh, Thanks. thank you. I mean, you, you are amazing. So I, I posted my comment, and I can't wait to have you back on YouTube. Um, to that's answer your it. question, <laughs> um, my kids are super involved in my business. I think it's, I believe in being an entrepreneur. I don't care to ever, you know, be in the uh, corporate world and living, you know, with those constraints. And I think it's important for my kids to learn the option of entrepreneurship, whether they choose that route or not. So. At even a young age, uh, my even my three-year-old goes shopping for me and can tell you that you buy low and sell high. So yeah, they, what I'm about. they know <laughs> they know the business. And when I travel, uh, my older son he watches my eBay stores for me, and he's able all of them. I mean, they're all able to ship and uh, answer and you know pick out the uh, print out everything on the computer. They are really well equipped. They they will post items for me for sale. Um, oh, awesome. There's really not any aspect that they don't help with. They help film me for the videos. They've made my my introductions on my YouTube channel. The Entrepreneur Girl logo. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but we created that as a family. There's an hour website design. There is nothing that the kids haven't been full fledged involved in because I believe it will really benefit them in their future and just it teaches them a lot of a lot of business skills I think right, <laughs> right. Yeah. and you know uh, also I'd have to say those things that you just mentioned all those things are gonna be the stories that they tell their kids you know it's not gonna be about when we were sitting around a, a, on the couch watching TV it's about when we were you know packing up boxes and lists and stuff and sending them out and making the logo and do you know that's the real stuff so congratulations that's just very cool you know it's fun it really is fun to incorporate them Aiden my 12 year old and I we did a, a video to see how many items we could list we had a race with each other on YouTube, <laughs> we have one hour to see who can list the most, and um, you know it is those things that really, really set the example, especially for our girls. You know, I think it's important for the girls right. to see that women can also be entrepreneurs as well. Yeah, as huge. You know. I agree. Fantastic, great question, and we'll hear a little bit more from Rob Anderson later on some giveaways. I know he has some giveaways tonight, so thanks, Rob. Yes, thanks for having me. All right. Me. Um, we want to say goodbye to Sanja and Dee. Thanks for coming on the show. We are we really appreciate you being on, and uh, we'll we'll definitely get you back on again. Okay. Absolutely, you guys are in good hands. We'll be in the chat. Bye guys. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you. Thanks for supporting the show tonight, both of you. Really appreciate all your efforts, and thanks for your great questions. We'll see you soon. All right. Absolutely. All right. We're gonna have. Uh, Few, two new panelists come in and join us.
And while they're signing in, let's go to the chat and answer a couple questions, and then we'll continue on. Caesar, do you have a few questions? I, I know I have a couple showing. Do, do you want me to fire some off, or do you want to grab a few? Uh, so here's one from Holly Wagner. She's asking, Tracy, what does your husband do for a living, and how does he fit into your daily schedule? Good question. Thanks, Holly. Okay, well, my husband is a general contractor, so he's a builder, and he's gone um, a lot. So he's typically he works out of the house all day, and then we're very sports-minded family, so we are all over the place every night. So my daily schedule is pretty much the kids and I um, kind of holding down the fort, and then we all touch base together, you know, for for dinners and on the weekends. And he really supports everything that I've done and continue to want to do. Fantastic. Great question, Holly. And by the way, uh, panel, we've, we have over 200 viewers on the, on the call tonight. So thank you, all of you viewers who are supporting the show. 200 viewers, awesome, awesome. Um, Mr. Sam Cohen, let's, uh, let's hear from you a little bit. Maybe uh, for anyone who didn't see the show last week, which was very few people, because a lot of people not only were on the show, <laughs> but uh, have uh, we've had almost 3,000 views since last Monday. Uh, epic show. We had 340 people on. Really, really cool. Sam, tell us about what uh, what's going on with you. Maybe introduce yourself to those that weren't on last week. Sure. So my name is Sam Cohen. I'm an Amazon seller. And we've also just launched AmazonConsultingExperts.com. Um, we also have a Facebook group under the same name, Amazon Consulting Experts, where it goes into a little bit more detail of what the program that we put together. Uh, it's going to really be a revolutionary program. Um, we're going to do some hands-on, intense training, uh, and it's going to be custom tailored to each individual. So if someone's a newbie, and they need help getting started, we're going to help them with that. If someone's more advanced, they need help getting ungated in certain categories, we're going to help them with that. If someone wants to go to the next level of doing you know, online arbitrage or wholesale sourcing or private label or whatever the challenge may be, we have experience in pretty much every facet of Amazon, uh, whether it be international or anything else, and we're going to actually custom tailor the program to each individual. Uh, so it's a full year. Coaching, mentoring, consulting, motivating, inspiring. Um, and it's going to be with me and my team. Um, we, we're up to about 20 employees now, we're hiring people to in anticipation of the uh, extra workload. And you know, it's really going to be about you know taking each individual and maximizing their bottom line. So I think there's you know we want to have a hundred percent success rate. We want to convert everyone to a bigger seller than they are now, whatever level they're comfortable with, whether it be from part time to full time, from you know, a hundred thousand to half a million dollars, and so on and so forth. And I think you know, with with me being actively involved on a day to day basis, uh, I will not fail, and I will not let any one of my clients fail. So that's nice. That's really. Uh, on that note, I'm, I'm pretty much in awe of everyone in here. Uh, Rob Anderson was the first guy that I watched on YouTube, and I was so hungry for information four and a half years ago that I watched every single YouTube video that had the word Amazon, whether it uh, pertained to Amazon or FBA or not. Um, I just watched everything. I watched on Amazon, and there really wasn't a ton of information, but Rob actually was someone relate to, made a lot of sense, understood the business, and I really, you know, flabbergasted that YouTube did what they did, but, you know, with God's help, he'll get back on the channel and, uh, you know, continue helping people in the future. Uh, on that note, I learned a lot from Peter Molius. He has tremendous analytical skills. The way he analyzes deals is, is incredible. They call him the professor, and he really knows how to analyze the, the Mathematics and the psychology uh, behind the marketplace. Um, Annie, I know from the groups. I don't really know her well, but I, you know, she has a tremendous following, and she has my utmost respect. And then there's Tracy. Uh, I'm in awe of the way you're able to juggle and all you've accomplished. 
and all you've been through. And, you know, anytime you want to have a second husband, I'll marry you and adopt your kids. And, uh, you know, I, I, would, I would love for you to organize me and my life because uh, my life is uh, controlled chaos right now. <laughs> Did you have a question for uh, Tracy, Sam, or do we want to move on? Sure. I would love to know, um, Tracy, so what is it that you do to add to your bottom line in your business? Like what steps do you take? Are you getting ungated in categories? Are you doing international? Are you adding new categories, new product lines? Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly right, Sam. And I have to say your show is awesome last week before we start, and um, you're a tough act to follow. So I'm like, what? I have to go after Sam? <laughs> so you had a, a lot of great content on the show last week. So if you haven't watched it, I hope everybody watches it. But to answer your question, I'm, I'm constantly striving to improve my net monthly amount. And ways that I have done that recently is to get ungated in categories that I had been previously gated, gated in. And again, the private labeling. That is like my sole laser focus right now because I really think that's going to, to jump um, my bottom line. And it's really going to open Amazon doors for me. So that is my focus right now with Amazon and improving my profit margin. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Good question, Sam. Thank you for answering that. We have Danny Ackerman and Steve Rakin in the house. Welcome, you guys. Wow. Woo hey, welcome, this guys. This is just amazing What's going tonight. On? Welcome, you guys. Um, I ho obviously, I'm sure you've been watching the show, and uh, we're really privileged to have you both on. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, – we'll go boy, girl. So, Danny, let's let's uh, have you introduce yourself to everybody in case they don't know you. Maybe mention a project you're working on, and then please ask Tracy a question. <clears throat> So first, I mean, I am just in awe. Eight kids and you're homeschooling five of them. I bow to you, Tracy. Awesome. <laughs> um, so, so I am Danny Ackerman. For those who uh, haven't been to your show before, you've had me on a few times. I am known as the Danny App. And I'm still like the eBay holdout over here. I know you guys are all Amazon. Um, I would still love eBay. Um, Doing the doing Amazon, but that's not my love. So that, I don't really coach and teach Amazon. Leave that for you guys. I'll stick with the eBay stuff and building business. But Tracy, so um, gosh, so many questions. How do I pick just one? Um, so how how what is the age range of your children? And forgive me if you said this before. I thought I was listening and I didn't quite catch it. So what is oldest to youngest? Okay, so the. My oldest is 26, and she's out of the house. She's the only one out of the house, and she lives in Gainesville. And um, she just got her degree from UF, and now she's a cardiac intensive care nurse. So I'm really proud of her and uh, love her tons. And then all the way down to my three-year-old, he'll be four this uh, Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. So those are the age ranges. I love it because mine are spread from eight to thirty. So. But I only have four. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. Hey, Danny, you've got a um, something coming up. Good question, by the way. What what, what do you have coming up? You want to tell everybody about real quick? I well, want to give you a chance. To... A, a big event coming up here in Las Vegas called More Fun, Bigger Profits, and it is a three-day event all about e-commerce. It's not just about eBay. It is about putting together a blueprint to get you to those goals that you want to meet in your business whether it's Amazon, eBay, um, we have speakers such as Jim Cockrum and John Lawson, uh, a couple people you may not know, Michelle Sism, Belanita Sean, um, some private uh, business people who don't, they're not like professional speakers, I just kind of wrangled them in uh, to come talk to my crowd, the joys of living in Vegas. Um, and then we've got breakout sessions, um, just crazy cool stuff, social media and Amazon FBA and, and website building. Um, it's going to be an absolutely fun three days. So, 
and when is that again? You pro I, you may have mentioned it. I might have missed it. It's go it's ahead for May, everybody listening. May thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. Two weeks away. <laughs> Two weeks. Yeah, you must be busy getting ready for that. And we'll. Uh, oh, yeah. I think we're, you're, you're probably. <laughs> I'm probably putting words in your mouth, but did you want to give one or two of those away tonight at the end? Of the giveaway? Let's give away two. Okay, cool. we'll, we'll check back with you on that. Thank you again for being on the show, Danny Ackerman. Uh, I, folks, this next panelist, Steve Rakin, he is the one that um, it was the first videos I ever watched, kind of like Rob with my FBA business. Steve Rakin was the first person I followed on how to sell clothes on eBay. And he specializes in um, teaching people how to sell mostly men's clothes, but he's got an eye and a knack for this. This is his niche. Uh, he's got a thriving YouTube channel. Um, you can tell how many people are on it. Welcome to the show, first of all, Reagan. How you doing? Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. This is uh, awesome. How many people you got on your YouTube channel? It's got to be huge now. I don't know. I probably count them on my, my fingers and my toes. No, I, honestly, I don't even know anymore. I crossed 15,000 a while ago. I think I'm coming <laughs> up on 20,000 now. So, I mean, I mean, okay. 500 videos that, later. So, I mean, <laughs> I've been doing it for a while. That is amazing. That is amazing. 15,000 people are subscribed to your channel. That is amazing. It's amazing. Um, so tell us, what are uh, some of the projects you're working on? And then um, I'm sure you have a question for Tracy. We'd love to hear. Right, yeah. So first and foremost, I mean, thanks so much for having me on, everybody on here. It's like so many faces I see all the time, people helping and giving back and making a difference. And that's why I started YouTube, right, just to kind of share my journey and give back and make a difference. And uh, it's just amazing, the technology now. We're all sitting at our house in different parts of the world, people watching it, cell phones, iPads, who knows? It's just crazy, but I'm, I'm really privileged to be here. But, I mean, I started a few years ago, quit my job. I was miserable working in, like, the restaurant industry, pizza, all that nine to five stuff and uh, started with Craigslist, moved on to eBay, Amazon, um, a lot of YouTube stuff. Now mainly I do Kindle publishing, that's my main business. So I'm in the same ballpark as you guys. I'm playing in the Amazon sand sandbox, just doing something a little different. But uh, that's where I am now. But uh, yeah, thanks again for having me on. This is amazing. Awesome, awesome. Did you have a question for um, Tracy tonight? Yeah, Tracy, what's going on? How are you? Hi, Steve. It's such a pleasure to meet you finally in the groups because um, I watched all your videos, so I'm one of your 15,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that awesome. video, that is uh, Raken Profits. It's R-A-I-K-E-N Profits. Or uh, like Rake in the Leaves, too. Like you can think of it that way. Rake in the Leaves or Rake in the Profits, Rake in something. But um, Tracy, my question for you was... Um, you know, I know you do a lot of different things, and you know, obviously you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneur girl. How do you go about planning your day and choosing, you know, the highest leverage activities? Because as you know, if you want to take your income to the next level, if you want to advance or grow your business, you've got to do certain things that yield certain results. So how do you go about wake up in the morning saying, "Listen, these are the things I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to plan my day, and this is how I'm going to, you know, take the actions to create the results that I want in my business." Well, that's Good a question. great question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have you know, a schedule for like my whole day. But then during business hours, I take that very seriously. But um, to start off, when I first wake up in the morning and I have my cup of coffee, I do what I call a power list. I don't know what you could like it to, but it is the day's priorities that absolutely have to be done. So right now I'm working on a website launch, so that is you know absolutely taking priority because that is going to really increase my revenue stream. Uh, it's going to open a lot of doors for me as far as the services that I can offer. And it's going to open a lot of doors for my viewers because I can have you know a lot of content that I really want to dive into but haven't really been able to get the depth that I wanted through a YouTube video. So that has taken priority. So I prioritize on my power list every day. And personally, if I have like a doctor's appointment or something that has to be done that day, that will go on the power list. But aside from that, if I'm having an eBay account issue that I need to address or anything that is red flagged for the day, we'll go on that. And that is what I'm going to start off with when I hit my work hours. And when I go into my office, everyone knows that that is mommy's time. And I really work like super hard because I try to make eight hours of time and be very efficient, you know, and, and box it all into like four hours of actual work time. 
And what I typically do if I if I don't have anything on my power list to answer your question is I start with what is going to net me the most profit. So like right now Amazon is has beat out my eBay account. So I typically always start with Amazon and then I go into eBay and I go into listing. Because the more I list, the more I make. So listing is my number one top priority when I start my business time. And then I'll go into, you know, like YouTube and all of those things come after my priorities of Amazon. Then I go into eBay. Then I go into my stocks, my Charles Schwab account, and I'll check those. You know, then I'll go on to, um, you know, more things like my YouTube and my social media, my website design, and all the other things that I have going. Awesome. Wow. Thank you for that answer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The power list, I love that. I gotta use that. Um, I know Barrington. We talked about that. You know, prioritizing your time and energy management. Uh, so the power list is cool because it, it sounds like that's what you use to prioritize what the, you know what you're gonna work on that day. Um, Steve, yeah, good, good, yes, good sir. stuff. Steve, um, you and Cody Hawk and the Bonafide Hustler are going to be our guests next week. So we're excited about that. That's the green room, folks. Um, and so if, <laughs> if you've ever checked out the green room um, YouTube hangout, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And again, it was one of the very first um, shows I, I watched uh, along with the uh, Scanner Monkey Spreecast. So we'll, we'll give you a little more time tonight at, at, at the end when we do the giveaways. So stay tuned, guys. We've got some great giveaways. Cesar Gomez, did you have a question for Tracy tonight, sir? Uh, yeah. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Hi, Cesar. How are you, my dear? I'm uh, good. I owe you an apology. I like woke you up <laughs> at 5 a.m. yesterday, sending you text messages. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I was reading your your message with one eye open. I was like, uh, I'll get to it right now. <laughs> okay. Oh um, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I blamed it on James. Like, thanks for learning over on a time difference. That's okay. Um, so, you know, one question that I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know, especially for new sellers coming on, what advice would you give to a new seller how to get started, whether selling on eBay, Amazon, whatever it is? What advice would you give a new seller? How would you take them under your wing? Okay. Um, what I typically say for someone that's brand new to e-commerce is – like like Danny, she loves the eBay. You know, I love eBay too. Um, I love to sell vintage. I think it's a really good forum to get your feet wet to understand how you know the buying and the selling and these platforms work. So I think eBay is a, is a great place for a new seller. And then, but we all know that with eBay, they have those ceilings, you know, that you you max out of. So. What I would like for them to do, or if you're a new seller, what I'd like for you to do is to max out your ceilings on eBay, and every 30 days you're maxing them out, and on the 31st day you're calling an eBay customer service and you're trying to get you know, your limits increased. And while you're building your eBay, hop on over to Amazon, start watching all of the videos. Amazon has a lot of videos themselves. YouTube, you know, all of us have a lot of um, Amazon videos. Be really educating yourself about an Amazon account and be uh, reading the literature and go ahead and start arbitraging for that inventory that you can be boxing up and sending off to the Amazon warehouse. Because if you're if you're trying to grow both, because eBay only lets you grow so fast, I think I think it's great to start with eBay. Get you know, get hitting those limits. Keep hitting those limits and getting them increased, and be popping over to Amazon and starting to to understand when you start your new account. You know, you have that 30 days free. Start sending in those boxes. Start understanding um, the theories behind the Amazon, and get your feet wet and just. Do it. So many people are just so afraid that they never get started. And the best way to learn is to send in that first box. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I mean, right now it's just uh, it's, it's that it's that one little sentence everybody says is "What if? What if? Just do it." You know. Just do it. They're so afraid. You know, they're afraid of making mistakes, and I get that. I. 
I just knew I was going to mess it up and the Amazon police was going to knock on my door. You know, I, I relate to that totally. But the, the reality is, is that most mistakes that you're going to make and you are going to make them, you, you're able to recover from. And yeah. the best way to learn is to just to, to do it and to push through the learning curve and to feel the fear, but to just push through anyway. Right on. Thank you. Now, Tracy. Now, Tracy, we have some uh, questions in the chat. Let me get to a couple of them. Uh, okay. One of them, uh, Rita Z said, I have a question for Tracy. How is she doing in quarter four? Is she changing her schedule at all? Have you seen any changes you did from since quarter four? Well, quarter four is crazy. Um, you know, it's a really, really busy quarter. It's the busiest one of the year for me. So I guess my schedule would change a little bit in that, you know, right around the holidays, um, my family knows that I, I need to work more because I'm really pushing my inventory. I'm sending a lot of stuff in come September, October. I'm just trying to, you know, really, really fill my inventory uh, to the warehouses. So I think my personal schedule does change in that I'm really stepping it up with Amazon. Also, there's a lot more sales. You know, there's a lot more sales on eBay, so there's a lot more shipping. Um, so definitely, quarter four is, is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of shopping. There's a lot of selling. There's a lot going on, but it's it's pretty much the same. It's just it's just a crazier time, and I I just have to be kind of geared for it and ready for it. And now you know I've been doing it long enough that that it's a it's a comfortable craziness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, there's another question, and I'm going to butcher this name completely, but I'm going to try it. Uh, Mihaela, Mi Mihaela Logan, uh, <laughs> I apologize, but uh, she said, uh, have you ever thought about publishing a motivational book? I think that's a great question. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, have great you ever question. Yes, I, I love um, to motivate people, and... I had a decision to make when I was doing all of this with the YouTube and the website. I could have went one of two ways. You know, either I could have gone um, the academic way and say, "Oh, look at all my, you know, degrees and and I'm very professional and I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to train you and teach you." But my heart wasn't in it. You know, I'm not. That's not true to who I am. It's not true to what I believe. I want to help people and the real truth is is that I can teach you to eBay in my sleep you know I, I can I can teach you Amazon but if I can't get you to send out that first box if I can't get you to push through the fear then really you know I've, I've done all of that training for for nothing so my passion is to, to just be transparent and to take that path of showing people my mistakes, you know, I've, I've shown my foot on YouTube, you know, I broke my foot and I'm showing it on my desk, you know, I'm just totally real and I, I want to help people. I, I love my life, I love what I've created out of nothing and I want to help you do the same and, and motivate you because all the training in the world means nothing if you can't wrap your head around what you're doing and why you're doing it. So thank you for that question. I would love to have um, motivational content on my website and fully intend to do that. That would be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Tracy, what is your website? Just so the listeners um, maybe who are not familiar with it could can go and check it out. Well, my website, ladies, would kill me for telling you because we are launching in May, so this is just a hair premature. And um, Sharon Buck is my is my website lady. I love her. And my website is entrepreneurgirl.net. Okay. And uh, we it has right now. If you go there, it has a coming soon page um, with a new look. There is a mailing list, so please get on that mailing list because that's my way to reach out to you and and show you that, hey, we've launched, and hey, this is the content, and hey, this is what we're doing. So you can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and get on the mailing list so that you have all of that being sent to you, but it's entrepreneurgirl.net. Awesome. Thank you. 
So everybody, make sure you go and check that out and, and uh, fill out the form right now so you can get on her mailing list. She's a great teacher. That's what she does best. She makes things simple for people like me who are simple. Um, she's really good at that, and so I highly encourage you to check that out. Let's take a break real quick and thank some of the Facebook groups that uh, help promote the show tonight. It's been 200 people running uh, constantly. I think we're at 196 here, and we're an hour and 10 minutes in, so thank you, chat, for, for being on. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to thank shout out to a couple game changers, uh, Chris Piles and Louie the Seller. Thank you, game changers, for uh, promoting the show and sharing the links. Uh, thank you to the Scanner Monkey group. <laughs> uh, Jay Bain and Cordelia Blake. I uh, want to thank uh, uh, Gil Money, David and Sarah Gilman for promoting the show. Bobby Miller from Breaking E-Commerce News. Make sure you go check out her website. I'm sorry, her Facebook group, uh, Breaking E-Commerce News. There it is. Uh, Paul Gummerson from the uh, Reseller Wake Up Show. I was I stopped in on that show this morning to encourage them. They're they're doing great. They're on their 111th episode this morning. Thanks, Paul, for promoting our show. Jim Cockrum, my silent team. Danny Ackerman, thanks for pr promoting the show. Um, uh, Bob Willie, Amazon FBA newbies, promoted the show tonight. Thank you, Bob. We're going to have him on, I believe, Caesar, right uh, in the future weeks as a panelist. Yes, sir. Uh, Catherine Shelton of Treasure Hunting. We're also going to have her on next week as a panelist when we have the green room. So thank you, Catherine. We look forward to seeing her next week. Uh, Catherine Shelton. Diana Morgan, a game changer. Uh, thank you, Diana, for promoting the show. And uh, Tracy Smith, obviously, uh, thank you for promoting our show tonight and on your web, on your Facebook group, Amazon 360. Um, let's see here if I missed anybody. Dennis Smith, Sourcing Secrets. Be a be bab. Thank you, uh, and Dennis. Thank you for letting us promote the show on Sourcing Secrets. That's the Facebook group. We also had uh, Chris Green supporting us tonight on Scan Power. Thank you, Chris. Welcome back from vacation. We're going to have him on in a couple weeks, folks. We got some great guests coming on the show uh, coming up, so stay tuned. Uh, obviously, we want to thank CSA Picker Sanja for helping us out. Dwayne Malik, let me post on his Facebook group, Fast Turn Radio. He's going to be on in a couple of weeks. Mark Levine from Bubble Fast. Thank you for promoting the show on Bubble Briefs Facebook group. Also, I want to give a special thanks to Lori Stalter. She is the one that does the iTunes podcast. She's the one who makes all the magic happen once we cut this show each week and then puts it on iTunes podcast. In the month of April, it's only the second month we've had the iTunes podcast, we've had over 600 downloads. Uh, and we still have, what, three days to go to the month. Um, Sam, we had, I think, 100 downloads from since last Monday already from your show alone. Um, so thank you, iTunes podcast listeners, for supporting the show. And thank you, Lori Stalter, for uh, making that all happen. I don't know how she does it, but she is amazing. Uh, so thank you, Lori. I also want to thank um, uh, Sean Murphy for supporting the show, Tina Lambert from the Pickers University, and Kevin Buccio from the Thrifting Lounge. There we go. Whew. Thank you all for supporting the show. Um, now, uh, before we answer a few questions, let's do some giveaways as we uh, land this plane tonight. So, uh, Tracy, we'll start with you because I know you have some special giveaways that you want to uh, to give tonight. Graciously. What you got? What you giving away? I do. I'm for two people, two different giveaways. I would love to give away a free unlimited email coaching for a whole month. So I'm really excited that I get to work with somebody instead of 30 minute phone call. We're going to work with for 30 days together with some just real intense one on one, getting to know you, moving you to the next level with really any area that you need personal development or business wise so I am psyched about that that is a very gracious giveaway folks if you win the giveaways um, please go ahead and Facebook the individual person that's giving it away um, and and how can they find you on Facebook just Tracy Smith to get their their prize you can you can email me since that's going to be the forum. My email is tracy at entrepreneurgirl.net and cool. just um, use this as a reference. Give me your name. I'll have your name written down anyway. And then we can just go ahead and start communication that way. 
Awesome. All right. So, who wants? Who's got a couple questions for a quiz? Who's got a? a who's got the first question? I can go ahead and do that. Go ahead, James. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do an easy one and a hard one. Uh, okay. Great. First one. First one's a rather easy one. Uh, how many children does Tracy have? <laughs> that That's is. a good one. So go ahead. Well, the first person to answer that, um, you win that great giveaway, that coaching from Tracy, the email coaching. And so uh, while we're waiting for that answer, because there is a lag time, let's go ahead and throw the next question out. Did, did you, you said you had another one, right, James? Or if somebody else has one. Go ahead. You, could, you, you said you had an easy one and a hard one, so go ahead. Well, I, I don't know if I, uh, I, sh I believe she said it once, but uh, you had to really listen. And we do have a winner, by the way, on the first question. But uh, the second question, what school did Tracy go to? What college did Tracy go to? Oh, you always come up with good ones, James. <laughs> that's a nice, that's a tough one. Uh, okay, who's the winner of the first question here, folks? The first question, uh, winner of the first one is Karina Stevenson. Oh, Woo! congratulations, Karina. Yeah. That's awesome. Good job. Good listener. Hey. Okay. Um, while we're, uh, do we have an answer yet to the second question? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We're going to go to Mr. Steve Rakin from Rakin Profits. He's got a special giveaway while we're waiting for James's second answer for Tracy's second. And we have a winner. We do have a winner. Okay. What is? Who is the winner? Proud Mama. University of Florida. Yay! University Go of Florida. And, and, the, and, and, and her name is Proud Mama? Is, is that proud the name? Mama. Proud, proud Mama. Mama. Is her proud Mama. Name. You're such a proud mama. Congratulations, Proud Mama. Again, uh, go ahead and email Tracy to redeem your prize. She is at... What's Tracy the email? Tracy at entrepreneurgirl.net. Yes, so make sure you spell entrepreneur right because that's a tough word. Is that French or something? I don't know. Entrepreneur. Okay, next we have a giveaway from Mr. Steve Rakin. Hey, Steve. What's going on, man? Thanks. Um, yeah, so over the last year I've gotten into a business, um, Kindle Publishing, and I've learned how to make pretty good money um, selling Kindle books, Create Space books, audio books on the Amazon platform. So Cody Hawk and I have both created pretty uh, substantial businesses from this and we created a course called the K Business Academy which is a membership site and currently it's uh, $97 for lifetime membership and all and updated videos but I'm going to be giving it away for free. There's over 50 videos, there's templates, there's a private community, there are case studies, there are um, monthly training videos and I mean the list goes on and on. It's going to be something that just keeps getting updated, keep giving back and um, like I said, if you're interested in earning passive income, and this ain't a get-rich scheme, trust me, <laughs> I'm not rich, but you could earn thousands of dollars for sure within a pretty short period of time if you hit it hard. So we show the our whole method there, and um, yeah, so we're going to share that with you, give give one away. and um, well, wait, Before yeah. you give one away, um, how do they find that uh, course if they're listening on iTunes podcast or even some of the chat might yeah, want to know how they find it? So you could, you could go to um, kbusinessacademy.com. K for Kindle, businessacademy.com, and um, there's a sales page. You can learn a little bit more about it and whatnot. But um, even awesome. even even then, type in Kindle Publishing into YouTube. There's a lot of awesome people, free content out there that you can learn from, learn from as well, even if you're not interested in the course. So definitely look into it, you guys. All right, good. Thank you for this uh, gracious giveaway tonight. Did you have a question, Steve, that you wanted to throw out there? Mm. Or do you want I, us to come I, up with one? Because we've I, got I, one. I've got a question. Does it have to be related to the entrepreneur girl in the show? Yeah. Well, uh, it would be nice if it had something to do with the show. But if you got something, I trust it. I trust you. Go ahead. Fire it away. Okay. I've got something that's related to where I live. So I live in Connecticut. So if if this is acceptable, I would like the first person to tell me what team this is. Oh. Can you see that? Put it back up. Right here. Bada bing, bada boom. I know some. I know some people know this team. <laughs> it's not too tough of a question. Tracy, do you know this team without saying it? I don't. 
<laughs> I know what that is, eh? You're a woman. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, while we're waiting for the answer, um, let's go to Peter. And by the way, hold on, hold on, folks. Uh, we got a winner. Okay, we got a winner. Because Sam right. Cohen's going to announce his big announcement tonight, so hold on. We're going to do that at the, at the end. Okay, go ahead. The winner was uh, Ivan Black. He got it first, uh, the Whalers. Oh, it's Ivan, that, awesome. It's that, it's that uh, uh, third triple uh, A team for the hockey, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so who was it again? Go ahead, Steve. Who is it? Ivan Black. Oh. Ivan Black? Yep. No, I mean, who's the team? I'm sorry. Who's the team? Hartford Whalers. Hartford Whalers. Okay, Hartford awesome. Whalers. Ivan Black. He's. I know Ivan. Hi, Ivan. Thank you. Great, uh, great job on listening. And uh, he must be a sports aficionado. So I'm actually going to be meeting with him later in the week. So congratulations, Ivan. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook over at Rake and Profit. Um, just type that in. Find me. Add me. Send me a PM, and I'll hook you up with all the information. Cool. Thanks again for that great, great. Appreciate giveaway. it. Yep. Anytime. Awesome. All right, that is awesome, that course that he's talking about. I, I definitely need to check that out. So uh, you, I, I think you guys aren't charging enough. But um, anyway, that's another story. <laughs> uh, Peter, Peter's got a, a giveaway he wants to give tonight. So go ahead. What's the prize? Peter Molius. Yeah, uh, I was going to do uh, – okay, so the group that I run, Amazing Flips and Tips, kind of a showcase for how awesome I am at sourcing from Amazon. But, so I was going to do, like, three replenishable items that you could get specifically from Amazon week after week after week and just keep doing that. But awesome. I decided to change that just, just because I'm crazy like that. So what I'm going to do instead, this is a, a better deal, I think, is Tracy mentioned that private label is her laser focus, right? And so the best private label guy that I know is Andy Slammons. He's been on this show before. Andy Slammons is launching his private label 2.0 course. So if somebody gets this question right, I will sponsor them. This is an exclusive Whoa. course. Yeah. yeah. I will sponsor that person to be in that course. This is a tough question, though. Well, wait a minute. First of all, let me just, let me just say something. Daniel, I'm going to go out in the panel, and I'm going to be out there. I'm going right, right. to leave in the room. <laughs> let me just say this, that what Peter is offering is a $500 value, and he's sponsoring. So, I mean, he's literally going to have to come up with $500 out of his pocket to sponsor the winner. Um, so, very gracious, sir. Very yes. gracious. Go ahead. All right. So, everybody, it's a number. Get your fingers on the number keys. Tracy homeschools how many of her children? I know. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving this class. I got it. I was listening. I got it. I went. Oh, I knew this one. <laughs> Caesar, you're wrong. It's not that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Uh huh. <laughs> That's all right. Caesar's been busy. We'll we'll excuse him. <laughs> Winner, winner. Yeah, Do we have a winner yet? Yes. We've got a lot of right guesses. <laughs> Let's make sure we get the right person because we've been known to not go all the way up and scroll we up. We might so. not always be right, but we're never wrong. That's well, true. I'm pretty That's sure I saw 23 scroll by. I do not have any <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Who's the winner? Who's the lucky winner? That's a huge... She is muted at the moment. Go ahead, Caesar? What was that? Caesar, who's our winner? Uh, hang on, dude. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The let's winner... The All right, while you're getting that, let's go to... Um, B I got it. It's right here. It's on the chat right here. Double, there you go. Caesar, double check so that we don't... In our chat here. Yeah, double check. Bia, you have a giveaway tonight. Yes, that's correct. Hi, guys. Again, um, I own a little ungating service at, at itsbia.com, and I would like to give away a ungating service of your choice. Woo. So it doesn't really matter. We can do clothing. We can do luggage, shoes, jewelry, whichever you prefer. We that's can do awesome. it tonight. 
Um, mm -hmm. But you have to get this right. And you've got a question in your back pocket, I can tell. Right. Of course. <laughs> right. So when I was talking to you earlier about um, her YouTube tips, she mentioned that um, her daughter has a YouTube channel. Um, who remembers the name of that channel? Oh, I do. I do. Caesar, who's the winner on Caesar on the previous? Oh, the winner. So the winner is Janet W. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Janet. Can I just say, VFE's on getting service rocks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, so quick. I just want to say. Is that? Thank awesome. you. I'm going in the chat room. I don't want to be a panelist. All right. Okay. Janet. Uh, Janet W. Is it Janet Wasserman or who, who is it? Uh, is it Janet W. Janet W. Okay. Janet. Get with Peter Molius. He's on Facebook. Uh, or unless, fa unless Peter, you have a better way you want her to connect with you. No. I think Facebook we've got a winner. Me. I'm on Facebook all day long. Okay, Peter Molius, Janet, get with him. If you have a hard time, just get with me. Awesome giveaway. Awesome giveaway. Okay, congratulations, Janet. All right, Bia, this is a great giveaway too. I mean, I don't want to. I think this is awesome. I mean, what's the value of a ungating service for? Well, for depending, clothing? depending. Oh, for clothing, it's it's about two hundred dollars. But um, if I ungate you, I also off, well, I usually because I really do not believe in just ungating somebody and like throw them into the cold water. Yeah. I really want to teach you guys how to make up your own listings. How to you know. Take your pictures, um, keywording, all that kind of stuff. That's so cute. I, I do one on ones every day, um, and usually twice a week I do like a group session where if you have something that you already like, you purchase, let's say twenty shirts that you want to get listed, and there's no listing on Amazon, um, you can bring your shirt to that hangout, to that you know, screen share that we do, and we 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 will all, all four to five of us will list our um. That's are cool. Listing together, so, That's so it cool. really doesn't just—it's not just this one time that we're working together. It's going to be constant. If you ever have a question, I have people that I found gated two months ago, and they still come to me, and we still work together. So. Cool. All right, who's the winner of your great prize tonight? I think it's Helen. Helen Tucker. All right, Helen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Helen. Game changer. She's on uh, the RB3 Game Changer Facebook group. I've uh, actually been private messaged uh, her, met her this week through PM. So, Helen, congratulations and thanks for being a game changer. Yay, Helen! Yay, Helen! Right. Uh, we are getting close to Sam Cohen's giveaway. Danny, you said you had a couple giveaways tonight, so why don't you uh, tell us what you got? I have got two tickets to the More Fun Bigger Profits event in Las Vegas. So um, be sure, if you guys like go for this prize, you can actually get here in two weeks. It's a $297 value ticket. So we want to be sure those go to somebody who can actually get here. So True, true enough. Uh, yeah. Did you have questions, or do you need some help? Because I think we sure. still have some. Okay. I have a oh. question. You're good so, at these. Uh, what did Tracy say was her biggest obstacle? Ooh. I don't know. Um, Tracy, you're going to have to tell us. I can't remember a little. Yes, maybe you can put it in the chat. While we're waiting for that answer, um, did you have another question, Danny? Or oh, let's see. Yes. The other question is, uh, Tracy had a, a, a little saying at the beginning that I just loved, wrote it down. It is six words. And I know there's somebody over in that chat who knows that phrase, so... Hey, wait, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> Six words. I, I mentioned it, right? I mentioned it first, correct, Danny? At the beginning? Um, nope. I think this was all hers. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of six other words then. <laughs> uh, chat, uh, while we're waiting for those answers, let's go and answer a few questions in the chat here of Tracy. Um, I'm seeing here. Thank you, Lena Wasserman, for saying, uh, encouraging us. Appreciate that. Uh, Picker Army hiring your first employer. Uh, Picker Army, Tracy. He said, hiring for your first employee. Where and what do you look for? 
Did we answer that? We didn't answer that. Well, right we? now, yeah, I, I'm working on hiring virtual assistants, so I don't have a physical employee at this time. So yeah, maybe well. somebody else in the panel can answer that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Uh, again, that was Picker Army, and uh, great question. And so a lot of us are in that same boat. Um, I'm using virtual assistants as well and 1099 contractors because a lot of this stuff they can do on their at their own leisure and they don't have to report here. So those are the two basic criteria of an employee is that you tell them when and where they have to report. And so you can um, you can 1099 people as long as they make $600 or more. Uh, you can give them a 1099 at the end of the year. You just have to maybe help counsel them and get them in touch with someone to help them with their taxes in case they need to um, put some money aside for that. Uh, so that that would I would encourage you to at least get them in touch with your CPA if you do 1099 somebody. Enough of that. Let's go back to the answer for Danny Ackerman's awesome prizes. Danny, do we have winners for your great questions tonight? We have winners. They put them there in the chat. You great. did. All right. And so congratulations. James, you want to announce them? He's got uh, that announcer's voice. He does. And we have he a winner. Does. The winner is Ivan Black. <laughs> Ivan Black wins. And the Shawnee Come Price. on down. Come on down. <laughs> you are the next contestant, and you win. Congratulations, guys. All right, just get with Danny Ackerman. She's on Facebook, uh, unless there's another place you want them to connect with you, Danny. Facebook is perfect. Facebook is perfect. Hopefully you're both on. I know Ivan is, and he's won two prizes tonight. Good job. And uh, you're going to have to take me to Vegas with you, Ivan, because I don't think I can make it. <laughs> uh, all right, listen, uh, I think that uh, – do we have any other questions in the chat? we got 182 viewers hanging on, waiting for Sam Cohen's announcement. Any other uh, questions in the chat we may have missed? We may have, but uh, there were a lot of them were just answering questions. Of, uh, okay, good. Uh, All yeah. right. Uh, swamp picker question for Tracy. Do trade ideas with other big families? My mom was the oldest of nine. I don't think we asked that one. So do I trade, do I trade information with other families? Kind of like help them help me type of things? <laughs> Is that it? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I think that was the the uh, yeah. So do do trade ideas with other big big families. My mom was the oldest of nine. Well, it's interesting when you homeschool in the homeschool circles. There are a lot of big families out there, and a lot of big families that homeschool. So when I go to these homeschool conventions or these homeschool groups locally, just to socialize and you know hang out with other families that also homeschool, I I do pick up a lot of you know trading secrets and tips with them because you know when you're juggling a large number of kids, it is harder. You know there are other considerations and things to employ in your day. So absolutely, that would be a big yes to that. Anytime I come across somebody that has more than four kids, I, I just kind of like latch myself to them and pick their brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, uh, for time's sake, we're going to go to Mr. Sam Cohen, who has a huge announcement tonight. Um, folks, he has a, a, a course that's $5,000, okay, and I believe it will change anybody's life. Uh, I'm personally going to get enrolled in the course, and so, uh, Sam, tell us how we can get enrolled in the course, and please announce the, the winner tonight. I okay, so you can go to AmazonConsultingExperts.com. Uh, there's a form to fill out, and uh, we'll be contacting you shortly. We're just finalizing the, uh, the final details of the partnering up with a lot of all-star experts, some of which may or may not be panelists here tonight. Um, <laughs> but uh, hopefully it's going to change people's lives, and uh, we're going to work with you hand-in-hand -hand for an entire year. Uh, we're going to have on-site training. We're going to have monthly coaching calls. We're going to have mastermind group. We're going to have uh, ungating services. We're going to have co-op buying and co-op advertising, which I really think is going to add tremendously to people's bottom line. 
Uh, we're going to allow you to buy from the same supplier that we buy from. And uh, most of these companies won't deal with you unless you're a seven or eight figure seller. Um, and it's it, you're really going to have an opportunity to have exclusive products on Amazon without the price pressure and without the competition. Um, really going to, you know, for people who want to work and want to succeed, we're aiming for a 100% success rate. And uh, I can tell you that whoever does sign up, we're taking a very limited amount of people. Some people have already asked how they can pay when they pay. And I told them we can't do anything till tomorrow. Uh, but I can tell you, you know, if you invest five thousand dollars with us, it'll pay uh, far more dividends than spending five thousand dollars on any inventory that you can buy, and it'll pay you for the rest of your life because we'll teach you how to run the business, how to work with CPAs, how to work. With how to work with insurance companies, how to work with warehouses, whatever level you might be at, how to work with suppliers, and we'll teach you how to grow the business to the level that we've gotten to. In um, with that said, we, we've had over 200 applicants. Again, some of them, you know, just said, where do I pay? They didn't want the free uh, promotion. Uh, a lot of people want and, you know, can use the free promotion. <clears throat> We've analyzed over 200 applications, and, and we picked the winner. Uh, the winners are Greg and Lena Wasterman, I believe, in Orlando, Florida. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're <laughs> wow. We're helping them with their, their, uh, their profile, and they, they used to give a lot of money to charity, and Greg, I believe, is a CPA. And they said they want to work, or they're working seven days a week uh, at this business, and they're working till 11 p.m., and they start work at 3.30 a.m. Uh, and, you know, like, like a lot of us, they were hit with hard times five years ago, and, you know, we want, to, we want to help them get back to where they were so that they continue doing the great things that they, they were doing. Wow, congratulations to Greg and Lena Wasserman. That is huge. Um, and, and, and really, kudos to them for, for doing a great job with the application. I know you scoured those uh, and really you know, worked through those with a fine-tooth comb, and I'm sure you had a lot of great applications. But big congratulations and awesome uh, of you, Sam, to give this away. It, is, it, just, it just blows my mind how generous you are to do this. My pleasure. My pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with everybody who joins our course. All right. So, and, and Sam, in the, in the chat, Lena is just going on and on and on. So, <laughs> I, I have a question. How many exclamation points is that? I, it's like I can't have that many fingers. <laughs> uh, I think well, folks, thanks. Uh, I want to thank uh, all of our panel members tonight that have been on. Um, we had uh, Sanja and Dee who, who did step off the show, but thanks again for being on the show. Thank you, Bia. Thank you, James, Caesar, Danny. Uh, thank you, Peter, for being on the show tonight. Steve Rakin. Uh, Rob Anderson, thank you so much for being on the show. Sam, thanks for staying up. I know it's way past your bedtime uh, to announce that awesome uh, mm -hmm. gift and prize. And I know that will change somebody's life. Um, and, and I personally am going you know, to pay for that program myself because uh, I believe that it has that much value and content in it that's going to be life-changing. So folks, get it if you do want to change your life, look it up. What's the website where they can apply? AmazonConsultingExperts.com and it's been a, a normal 18-hour workday. So from 5 in the morning yeah. until midnight, you know, or if, until 11, work for me. All right, so it's AmazonConsultingExperts.com. AmazonConsultingExperts.com for all of your listening. And Sam, uh, real quick, uh, do you have? Are you going to have a limit on the number of applicants? Yes. yes it's, well, not on the applicants, but on the people that we accept in the program. So right now, we, we have um, we're limiting it um, to what we feel we can handle. We're not sure of the number yet, but we're going to put it into a limit where we're a hundred percent sure that anybody who joins is going to be successful. Uh, you know, I tell people that, you know, I've spoken to that said, you know, what can I expect? I, I would tell you, uh, you can expect at least an additional $10,000 to your bottom line. 
and I would venture to say, depending on where you're at in the business, it's going to be closer to six figures. So, there you go. That's amazing. And uh, again, thank you. And then we would definitely want to thank our special guest host tonight, entrepreneur girl Tracy Smith. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. We really for enjoyed it. Me. Love your show. Thanks a thank lot. You. That's it, folks. Uh, join us next week. We're going to have uh, Rick and Profit and uh, the rest of the green room, which is Cody Hawk and the Bonafide Hustler. And meanwhile, you can you can brush up on their YouTube channels and see all the amazing things they do. Um, and so we're excited about next week's show, so make sure you tune in. Again, we'll have some awesome giveaways. And uh, thanks again for all of you listening on iTunes. Goodbye and good night. Take care. Take care, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. See you.